Happy Valentine's Day. I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips with a nice looking forecast for you and your Valentine today. It's going to be a warm one as far as well. Our Valentine stack up highs today are going to reach into the mid 50s and we will be working with a mainly dry forecast on this Tuesday. The chances though for some rainfall do start to bump up as we get into the later half, even that dinner time frame. So some sprinkles will be possible after sunset. Sunset going to be in the six o'clock hour just a couple minutes after 6 p.m. And that means then that rain chances and using radar, keeping an eye to it, going to be a part of our evening plans for Valentine's Day. Now we've had some gorgeous sun across Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan, so a good start to the day. But we do have filtered sun here this afternoon. You're going to find that sun just trying to fight through some of those higher level thin clouds. So far they're thin. We will notice that the clouds just continue to thicken because, as I had mentioned, those rain chances do bump up once that sun begins to set. So that means then some rain clouds will have to move in. You will find that our chances of that rainfall not going to be here for the early afternoon. Even around dinner time, we're still going to be hovering on that flat line. But right as we head into kind of prime time, your evening, you are going to find that our chances really do jump up, peaking at around 11 p.m. and then falling back down as we head into the very early hours of Wednesday. I anticipate for a lot of us tomorrow morning that that commute in or even the wait at the bus stop not going to be a super soaker for us as a lot of those showers will be moving on out of town for us. And then we'll have dry weather for the rest of Wednesday. So the timing of the rainfall, not too bad considering that it is going to be later on Tuesday and mainly be wrapped up before a lot of us head into our activities for Wednesday. Looking at radar, this is the system that we have. It's off into the plains. This, though, is going to shoot that moisture in for us. So some of these outer layers you can see there right into Illinois. That's going to be that first uh, chance for that rainfall as we head into the dinner time frame and then a little higher chances from the system as we go into the evening. That's why I said 11 o'clock is when we're going to see a little more of that steadier rainfall, but this is mainly Mainly the only thing that we have cooking is this system here as we'll be awaiting another one to start to develop and then take shape for that Thursday soaker as well because you'll find on the umbrella forecast though we have the talks of rain today even tomorrow morning we still have that 30% chance in though it's mainly Thursday that you're going to need the umbrella tomorrow, maybe in the morning, but I think you won't be using that umbrella for much of the day. Thursday all day long, you will be using the umbrella raincoats as well. Friday, Saturday, you have the green light, you have the green umbrella. You won't even be using an umbrella by the time we wrap up this work week and get settled into the weekend. So though we have some rainfall, at least it isn't going to be spoiling our weekend fun. Looking at the hour by hour forecast, let's time out the rainfall for tonight. You're going to find here at lunchtime that that we do have some of that filtered sun or at least enjoying what is left of the sunshine, but the clouds thicken by dinner time and they will start then around sunset to bring those spotty showers in. So even as we head into the overnight 11 o'clock, that's when we're going to see the steadiest of rain and by tomorrow morning, still just a few showers that will be out there, maybe even a few sprinkles, but the majority of the rainfall will be wrapped up. Once that rain wraps up, you're going to notice that the winds really do pick up, so we'll have mild temperatures tomorrow afternoon to be into the mid 60s potentially with that heat, but you'll notice that the winds really going to be grabbing at your hat if you're sporting one for tomorrow. We'll also have that warmer air moving in as we have a warm front that'll take shape and get a little bit closer to us with that next system, but we'll be watching to see how far north that front can go with the center of the storm that's going to be traveling very close overhead. We will just be stuck in the rain part of the system, but it's going to be all day Thursday that we do have showers. You may even hear a rumble of thunder, but and not anticipating a severe weather situation. Just don't quite have enough going in the forecast. But even for tonight, like I said, we have that rainfall, so have radar open on your phone. Maybe not at dinner, but around dinner at the beginning and the end. Have the WTOL 11 weather app open that Radar tab definitely going to be helpful for us. Also, it's got future radar as well. So as you're planning things out on the special day, then you can find that, well, a little bit of weather, always staying ahead of it, super helpful. Also, those hourly temperatures, you're going to find 40s, even 50s to come. Temperatures are really going to be taking off as we get close to tomorrow. Even today, not too bad with highs into the mid 50s. 
Overnight, though, we don't cool out all that much. Lows at best will strike fairly early. We'll see those at midnight or shortly thereafter, and lows are only going to be in the mid to upper 40s. Some of us might even just hold steady in the 50s before we welcome some 60s for tomorrow, though some of our models are not quite getting us up there. I do anticipate some 60s on the map for tomorrow, and then it doesn't last long. You can see then as we get closer to Friday, then well, or excuse me, Thursday, we are going to notice a little bit of a cooler jump in the forecast. Now winds, I'm sure that you've seen if you've been driving on a lot of the highways, the high winds are expected. That's what the boards are saying for us. So looking at the timing for tomorrow morning, we're already going to have the winds that are whistling at that point. We're going to find wind gusts around 35 to 45 miles per hour, and I wouldn't be surprised towards the midday afternoon. We do see some peak winds towards 50 miles per hour. So we had some gusty winds last week on Thursday. I anticipate these to be a touch stronger than that, but at least we do see them trending downward as we head into tomorrow night. So the winds really going to be picking up for us on Wednesday. This is our wind gust. And you're going to find even this afternoon, some of those winds are going to be elevated. It'll be a touch breezy out there, but it's really overnight that the winds pick up for us. You'll find 35 mile per hour winds. And as we get settled into Wednesday, that's when we're still monitoring for some 40, even towards 50 mile per hour wind gusts. Now the winds, they're going to be out of the Southwest. So they're tapping into warm air and temperatures tomorrow will be in the mid sixties simply because we have that warm air that's pushing into town from that wind. So just something to keep in mind. If you like the warmer weather, but not a big fan of the wind, that's just kind of the give and take with this forecast. Looking ahead to the next 10 days, starting with the first seven, you're going to find that temperatures do warm, of course, for tomorrow as we have the rain chance overnight. And then those showers and thunderstorms, non severe storms for Thursday, temperatures still into the mid 50s. That cold front, though, knocks us out to where we have temperatures in the mid 30s on Friday. Dry weekend forecast here, and it looks like temperatures are rebounding. But as we get into the next work, in school week. That's when we're going to be watching. Our atmosphere looks to be a little more active. The pump may be primed a little bit more by the time we get there. So we are monitoring the chance for not only some rain showers, but even some snow finally to be mixing back into our February forecast. High temperatures, we were looking at a little bit of a warmer spell, but now with this unsettled pattern, highs. Those are going to be trending towards the mid 30s for next week, something that we're maybe not familiar with considering it's been mild here for at least the last couple of weeks. So just keep that in mind that you're going to be want to watching next week's forecast on the WTOL 11 weather app because mild temperatures are going to turn chilly for us as we get into the new week.